Thomas and Friends Storytime. The Tiger Train, a podcast story for kids, starring Thomas, Yong Bao, Sandy and Carly. Based on the railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey, created by Britt Allcroft and read by me, Rachel Louise Miller. And now it's story time. Over the hill and round the bend, you'll find a large roundhouse called Tidmouth Sheds, where five little engines sleep soundly at night and wake in the morning as the sun shines its light. They all have work to do and cargo to tow. For this happy crew, it's all engines go. Today's story is all about being brave. It's called the Tiger Train. One day, Thomas arrived at Brendam Docks to find Percy, Nia and Diesel talking to a very special visitor who had come all the way from China. <gasps> Can you guess who it is? It was Yong Bao. Yong Bao had brought fireworks for the big fireworks show that evening. Percy looked at the big gold tiger painted on Yong Bao's side. Yong Bao, will you tell us again how you earned your gold tiger? Percy asked excitedly. Yong Bao was a very brave engine, but he didn't like to show off. Ah, oh, it wasn't such a big deal, he said. Oh, please tell us the story, cried the other engines. Okay, okay, said Yong Bao. It was for the time I rescued. But Yong Bao had seen something. Huh? James, Annie and Clarabelle? James, Annie and Clarabelle? Said Percy, puzzled. I thought you rescued an engine who was trapped in the snow. But Yong Bao was racing towards the rail crossing. The gates were stuck open and Yong Bao could see that James, Annie and Clarabelle were about to crash into Gordon, who was speeding towards the crossing from the other direction. Ah! shouted James as he saw Gordon and tried to stop. Oh no! shouted Annie and Clarabelle. Yong Bao quickly buffered up behind James and slammed on his brakes. Screech! Yong Bao, James, Annie and Clarabelle stopped just before they reached the crossing. Thank you! shouted Gordon as he raced past them. Oh, phew, that was close. Woohoo! cheered the other engines. Everyone thought that Yong Bao had been very brave, but Thomas wished he had been the one to stop the crash to show Yong Bao how brave he was. Later that day, Thomas and Yong Bao were at Cannonball Curve when they heard what sounded like an explosion in the distance. Yikes! shouted Thomas. That came from the old mine. We'd better go and see what happened. Thomas and Yong Bao found Gordon at the entrance to the mine. Gordon said there had been a rock fall. Everyone was okay, but Sandy and Carly were still trapped inside the mine. Thomas thought this was his chance to show Yong Bao how brave he was. Don't worry, Gordon. Yong Bao and I can rescue Sandy and Carly, Thomas said. Thomas and Yong Bao raced into the mine. Down, down, down they went. It was dark and cold and scary, but they kept going. The two engines came to an old wooden bridge across a deep cavern. Thomas looked over the edge into the blackness at the bottom of the mine. Thomas, are you okay? Yong Bao asked. Yeah, I'm not scared, said Thomas, trying his best to look brave. You're not, replied Yong Bao. I am. Thomas was surprised. If Yong Bao was scared, maybe it was okay for Thomas to be scared too. I'm terrified, admitted Thomas. I only said I wasn't so you'd think I was as brave as you. Well, you have to be scared before you can be brave, Yong Bao smiled. Courage is facing what scares you. 
so Thomas and Yong Bao headed across the rickety old bridge. But as they reached the other side, creak, groan, clank. The bridge fell apart, sending the track they had just crossed crashing into the cavern below. Come on, we need to keep going and find Sandy and Carly, said Young Bao. Let's do this, replied Thomas bravely. The two engines continued further into the mine. Then they heard shouts. Help! Help! It was Sandy and Carly. Thomas and Young Bao soon came to a huge pile of rocks blocking the track. Sandy and Carly were trapped on the other side. Are you guys okay? Thomas shouted. We're totally fine, Sandy called. But really stuck and we could use your help. No problemo, said Thomas. If we work together, we'll get you out in no time. You pull the rocks and we'll push. So they pulled and they pushed and... Crash! The rock wall crumbled and Sandy and Carly were free. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Thank you, young Bao, said Sandy and Carly. But the rescue wasn't over yet. They still had to fix the broken bridge so they could cross over the cavern and get out of the mine. Back at the broken bridge, Thomas could see a pile of new tracks, but they were on the other side of the bridge. Sandy and Carly, could we use those tracks to fix the bridge? He asked. Sure, replied Sandy. But how are we going to get them? Thomas had an idea. I'll need your help, Young Bao, and your hook, Carly. So with Carly's hook tied tightly around Thomas's cab, Young Bao pushed Thomas towards the gap in the bridge. Full steam ahead! shouted Thomas as he flew across the gap and landed on the other side of the cavern. Now with Carly on one side of the broken bridge and her hook on the other, they had created a zip wire across the gap with Carly's line. Sandy grabbed onto the line and slid down the zip wire. Awesome! she shouted as she landed next to Thomas. Sandy quickly collected the tracks and slid back along the zip wire. Clickety clack snap track, clickety clack snap track. Sandy and Carly sang as they used the track to fix the bridge. Soon everyone had crossed the bridge and together they made their way safely out of the mine. That evening at Cannonball Curve, Thomas, Young Bao, Sandy and Carly were waiting to watch the fireworks when Percy, Nia and Diesel arrived. We heard what happened. Are you guys okay? said Percy. Good thing Young Bao was with you, added Diesel. Actually, I couldn't have done it without Thomas, said Young Bao. He was super brave. Thomas smiled. Well, yeah. But we helped each other be brave. Just then, there was a bang and a whiz and a pop. The engines gasped as they looked up. Hundreds of red, yellow, pink, purple and blue sparkles flashed across the sky. It was the most amazing firework display ever. Young Bao had shown Thomas that to be brave You've got to be scared too, because helping others and being true is exactly what brave engines do. The end. Having trouble, Thomas? Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, I can't get up the steep hill. I think my boiler's low. I'll push you. Hey, it's the Calliope. This would be perfect for my party. Where are you taking it? I'm taking it to the party of the island where it's needed urgently. So, can you give me a push? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Ugh. Hey, this is where we first met, remember? 
all those years ago. Ugh. I helped you up this very hill. Phew, made it. Oh, now this is the perfect place to hold my anniversary party. Party? What party? For my Sodor anniversary. It's perfect, because it's where we met. A party sounds great, but I gotta go. Bye, Thomas. Come back for my party tonight. Okay, next stop, decorations. Oh, come on! Get down, stay down, stay down! Hi, Percy. Is that airmail? <laughs> airmail, good one, Nia. Nia? Oh, um, hi. I didn't expect to see you, and, um... Why do you have all those purple balloons? Purple's my favorite color. Oh, uh, um, they're not purple. They're dark violet? Dark violet? Isn't that purple? Nope, nuh-uh. No way. They're two completely different colors, for sure. Okay. Are you taking them to a party? Um, sort of. It's a gathering that needs balloons. A balloon gathering. <laughs> oh, Percy, you are funny. Is it okay if I have one? Uh, it would, but uh, they're all tied up. Well, can I take this one then? Oh, um, sure. Yes, of course. Thanks, Percy. Now, I'd better see if I can find some decorations. Will you come to my party later? Of course I'll go. Wait, how do you know about that? How do I know about what? My party? Because I'm planning it, silly. <laughs> On Steep Hill. Steep Hill? Oh! <laughs> <sighs> Got to go. Everyone is so busy. I hope they can make it. It's almost like they don't even want to come to my party tonight. Well, this perfect dark violet balloon and I will have fun, no matter what. You're in my way! <laughs> I know, I know. Let's catch this thing. Then I'll deliver Sir Top Matt his new hat. There! Nothing's gonna stop us now. Look out! <laughs> Where'd that bale of hay come from? And more importantly, where'd the hat go? Over here! Let's roll! Hey, I've got an idea. You two pull ahead and steam it this way, and I'll catch it. I guess we could use a plan. Let's do it! <gasps> There's the hat! <gasps> I got it! <laughs> Did I get it? How did you get here so fast? Even on the slow way, I'm faster than you. Okay, guys, now will you listen to me? I was trying to tell Thomas that. I got mud in my chimney. <gasps> the hat! It's going backwards. Back it up, back it up, back it up. This whole plan is backwards. Now that this track is closed, let's get this line fixed. Great! Try out my new line later. It's faster than that. <laughs> okay, it's not that fast. Hey, this isn't the express route. Sorry, we're trying to catch Sir Topham Hat's hat. He needs it for the ceremony at the Vickerstown Museum. I see it. I see the hat. Ooh, we've got a hope. Come on. A little closer. Go back. I mean, I mean forward. Go forward. <gasps> Whoa! There it is. I 
I'll just jump in. Whoa! Could have been bad. This I isn't so bad. Four more packages to deliver. We'll be back at Tin the Sheds in no time. Yeah. Uh huh. No time. Right. Uh, Percy, we're gonna get through this together. And you can't keep an eye out for scary stuff if your eyes are closed. Okay. Okay. Look, there is nothing scary on these tracks. Uh, not scary dancing tree, not scary water tower. You try. Okay. Not scary fence, not scary moon, not scary shadow monster. <laughs> shadow monster? Ah! Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not a shadow monster. It's just a shadow from a jack-o'-lantern. You're right. <laughs> Whoa! What? What's that? Uh, probably nothing. I think. Come on. Ah! <laughs> it's only that squeaky weather vane. Oh, it scares me every time. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Mr. Weatherbane! I wonder what got the cows so spooked. I can't see anything in all this mist. I don't see anything. But come on, two more deliveries to go. Whiffs recycling, then bring them dogs. One more job to go. What? Ah! It's a monster claw! Wait, actually, I don't know what it is. That's not a monster's claw. It's a bunch of old rails. <laughs> wow. So far, a lot of what we've seen isn't so scary close up. This is fun. I'm glad I didn't hide in my shed. The night was way scarier in my head. That's Halloween for you. Pure, get the chill, silly kind of fun. Yeah, like that ghost train behind us. It's just a... Wait, ghost train? Must be too far out. Cranky, can you see him? Looking and looking and nope, nothing. What are we gonna do? <gasps> Harold! Can you help us? He's not hearing us. Cranky, could you lift me up so he can hear? Whoa, so high. Harold! Harold! Diesel and I were playing hide and surprise. And you think he might be stuck on a barge out at sea? Can you help us find him? 10 4. That's a pilot speak for OK. <laughs> Operation Find Your Friend Diesel is a go. Thanks, Harold! Uh, Cranky, do you think you could let me down now? <laughs> to get off this... Oh. If I wasn't so worried about winning the game, I wouldn't be stuck on this silly barge. Now, I'll probably never get a chance to beat anyone at anything ever again. Hey, you squawked for your friends. That might work. I can... For mine. Okay, they'll hear me. Any minute now. Any minute. 
Maybe I'm too far away for them to hear me? I've got to get them to see me somehow. What? Was it something I tooted? <gasps> Look! Those seagulls! There's the barge! That must be where Diesel is. It's Harold. Harold! I'm over here! Ahoy, oh, Diesel. I heard you could use some help. Bingo. Now for step two. You can start pulling anytime, Harold. I was, but this barge is really heavy. Ah, broken blades. We're gonna need a new approach for Operation Rescue Diesel. But you can do something, right? I don't want to be stuck on this barge forever. Not to worry, friend. Help is on the way. Boss Road! I got it from here, Harold. Let's take a shortcut through the dark woods. But the dark woods are so dark. That's OK. Your ghost scaring machine has all kinds of lights on it. Yeah. I guess it's one last adventure for the ghost scaring machine. And this could be the biggest adventure of all. This fog is pretty spooky. Eh, I'm not scared. <laughs> Me neither, but I do like to see where I'm going. Percy, would your radar dish help? <gasps> Absolutely. Activating. Yeah, there's something big ahead. Like how big? Like ghost big? Ah! Ghost! Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not a ghost. Hi, guys. What are you doing? I got turned around in the fog, and I can't see past my bumper. And it seems like it's getting worse. We've got to find our way out of the dark woods. I don't want to miss what they found up on Lookout Mountain. Oh, I just wish we could see through the fog. Wait, my night vision goggles can see through darkness and fog. I'll lead the way. What do you see, Percy? Huh? Stop! Phew. I'm glad we didn't run full steam into that. But we need to move it somehow. Yeah. Does your machine have a Carly in it? No. But it does have a grappling hook. Yes, it does. Now, if everyone can hook together and help me pull, I think we can move this. You heard him. Now, pull! Wow. I mean, not bad. Yeah. The ghost hearing machine is full of surprises. Come on, guys. Let's get moving. Woo! We're out. Great. First one to look out mountain wins. We're all engines. Muddy. trying new sounds. Wait till she hears this. Wait, give me my bell back. You Percy promised. Percy, wait. <sighs> I should have known better than to give Percy a bell. <laughs> Hi, Mia. Huh? 
Hey, Percy. Look at this strangelizing bell Thomas found. Roaring rails. That totally rocks. If I had a bell like that, I'd make up a country cowbell song. Can I try it for a teensy second? I, I guess you can borrow it. But you gotta give it back right away, because I, Percy, promised to give it right back. Toot toot, tooty toot toot, toot toot, tooty toot toot. Oh, I gotta try it in the tunnel. The echo will be out of this world. But... <sighs> I need my bell. Whew. You said you'd give it right back. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry, but I kinda lent it to Nia. What? Well, then we gotta go get it back from her. What's the rush? I want that bell back. Me too. I didn't get to finish my turn playing with it. What? It's not my fault you gave part of your turn to Nia. It's my cowbell. Can I have it back now, please? Absolutely. Let me just pop it, engine style. <laughs> the bell! Oh! Oops, sorry. Follow that seagull! Sparkin! Look at this cowbell I found! More like it found me! Ha! I'm the one who found the cowbell, and how much have I gotten to play with it? Not at all? Exactly! And I can't chase Diesel, he's going the opposite direction. I have to deliver this milk to Vickerstown. <sighs> Terrific. I'm sorry, Thomas! Was that my brakes? It's a good thing we came in time, Kana. Your brake line is broken. I'm adding a temporary patch now, which means it'll only last for a little while. And you'll need to go slower to make sure it stays on. No time to slow down. With the storm coming, we have to finish the deliveries. That's most important! Huh, she didn't thank you either. You're welcome! My engine just suddenly stopped. It looks like you need a new intake vent, Diesel. This one's Sandy. <laughs> Sandy? Um, you're Sandy. <laughs> I know I'm Sandy, but his intake vent has sand in it. I've cleaned it out, but he'll need... need a new one. Come on back to the sheds, Diesel. No can do. We have to get these deliveries done. Pronto! <laughs> You're welcome. We're getting close, pal. Fight that wind. Whoa. <sighs> oh no, Thomas. It's your wheel. We better call Sandy. Carly, Sandy. Boy, are we happy to see you. My wheel's cracked. Can you help? Sure. Up you go. Now, this is a temporary wheel. It won't last all day, but it should get you through a few deliveries. Great! Thank! Here you are. We need a switch repaired by McColl's farm. We can't get to the barn to pick up the milk delivery. <sighs> Come on, Carly. Uh, Sandy? <gasps> oh, no. Well, Sandy, 
You've been working so hard, you literally blew a gasket. Wait, I'm out of service? I... I can't be out of service. I am the service. This is fantastic. It's bellerific. It's my favorite new thing. So, can I have it back? <gasps> Nia's always trying new sounds. Wait till she hears this. Wait, give me my bell back. You Percy promised. Percy, wait. <sighs> I should have known better than to give Percy a bell. found. Roaring rails? That totally rocks. If I had a bell like that, I'd make up a country cowbell song. Can I try it for a teensy second? I, I guess you can borrow it. But you gotta give it back right away, because I, Percy, promised to give it right back. Toot toot, tooty toot toot, toot toot, tooty toot toot. Ooh, I gotta try it in the tunnel. <gasps> The echo will be out of this world. But... <sighs> I need my bell. <sighs> you said you'd give it right back. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry, but I kind of lent it to Nia. What? Well, then we got to go get it back from her. What's the rush? I want that bell back. Me too. I didn't get to finish my turn playing with it. What? It's not my fault you gave part of your turn to Nia. It's my cowbell. Can I have it back now, please? Absolutely. Let me just pop it, engine style. <laughs> the bell! Oops, sorry. Follow that seagull! Sparkin! Look at this cowbell I found! More like it found me! Ha! I'm the one who found the cowbell, and how much have I gotten to play with it? Not at all? Exactly! And I can't chase Diesel, he's going the opposite direction. I have to deliver this milk to Vickerstown. <sighs> Terrific. I'm sorry, Thomas. Let's take a shortcut through the dark woods. But the dark woods are so dark. That's okay. Your ghost scaring machine has all kinds of lights on it. Yeah. I guess it's one last adventure for the ghost scaring machine. And this could be the biggest adventure of all. Fog is pretty spooky. Eh, I'm not scared. <laughs> Me neither, but I do like to see where I'm going. Percy, would your radar dish help? <gasps> Absolutely. Activating. Yeah, there's something big ahead. Like how big? Like. Ghost big? Ah! Ghost! Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not a ghost. <gasps> Nia? Hey, Nia. Hi, guys. What are you doing? I got turned around in the fog. And I can't see past my bumper. And it seems like it's getting worse. We gotta find our way out of the dark woods. I don't wanna miss what they found up on Lookout Mountain. Oh, I just wish we could see through the fog. Wait, my night vision goggles can see through darkness and fog. I'll lead the way. What do you see, Percy? Huh? 
I'm glad we didn't run full steam into that. But we need to move it somehow. Yeah. Does your machine have a Carly in it? No, but it does have a grappling hook. Yes, it does. Now, if everyone can hook together and help me pull, I think we can move this. You heard him. Now, I mean, not bad. Yeah, the ghost hearing machine is full of surprises. Come on, guys, let's get moving. Woo! We're out. Great. First one to look out mountain wins. We're all engines go. Guys, wait. The track up there is really. Oh, no. oh, no. oh. <sighs> Muddy. I can't see anything. He must be too far out. Cranky, can you see him? Looking and looking and nope. Nothing. What are we gonna do? <gasps> Harold! Can you help us? He's not hearing us. Cranky, can you lift me up so he can hear? Whoa, oh, so high. Harold! Harold! <laughs> And I think he might be stuck on a barge out at sea. Can you help us find him? 10-4, that's a pilot speak for OK. <laughs> Operation Find Your Friend Diesel is a go. Thanks, Harold! Uh, Cranky, do you think you could let me down now? <gasps> no, 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 not again. I need to get off this... <laughs> if I wasn't so worried about winning the game, I wouldn't be stuck on this silly barge. Now, I'll probably never get a chance to beat anyone at anything ever again. <laughs> That might work. I can... For mine. Okay, they'll hear me. Any minute now. Any minute. Maybe I'm too far away for them to hear me? I've got to get them to see me somehow. I was, but this barge is really heavy. <laughs> ah, broken blades. We're gonna need a new approach for Operation Rescue Diesel. But you can do something, right? I don't wanna be stuck on this barge forever. Not to worry, friend. Help is on the way. Lost road! I got it from here, Harold. From... We did it! Nice job, Sandy and Carly. Yeah, I can't believe that actually worked. We still have a little time, right, Bullstrode? They know you gotta leave at sunset. Where are they? Thomas promised he'd be here. He'd never break a promise. I wonder what happened. Get back here! 
Was me. Hmm? It's headed for the water. Almost got it. Yes. Wow. Oh. Uh. Uh. Whoa. Percy, look out. Great. What are we going to give Yang Bao now? Uh-oh. It's almost sunset. Yang Bao will be leaving soon. And we don't have anything big or special for him. When I first came here, I worried about forgetting my other home in Kenya. But lots of things make me think of it. Like the pattern on my sides, Normby Beach, even hearing a familiar tune. <laughs> But those are just little things. Yes, but I couldn't forget Kenya when so many little things made me think of it. So maybe it doesn't need to be a big thing. It could be little memories. <gasps> I've got it! To the docks, everyone! We can make up a song on the way! <clears throat> Sorry, young Bao. It's uh, time to go. I understand. Go ahead, Cranky. <sighs> they didn't come. <gasps> That's Thomas! I knew you wouldn't let me leave without saying goodbye. Uh, Sandy, can you help me with my... <sighs> whistle? Whoa, I've never heard a whistle make that sound before. I, that is... <laughs> Wow, <laughs> massive. But I'm on it. <laughs> Try it now. Great. I'm ready to hear my old. Wow, this really is a more massive deal than we thought. For a job this big, I'm going to need my extra special tools. Meet me at the sheds later? <sighs> okay. See you then. Uh, go easy on that totally, completely broken whistle. I know you want it to be fixed, but it's just a little longer, and then you can get your peep back. Come on, let's finish our mail route. I think you should finish this delivery on your own. But what about Percy, miss? You feel like yourself again, and that's great. But I won't until this is fixed. Just go on without me. Well, if that's what you want, I'll meet you back at the sheds. By that time, I'm sure Sandy will have fixed her whistle. If she can even fix me. Otherwise, I'll never peep again. Percy doesn't need me. He can toot and carry the mail by himself. <laughs> Troublesome trucks. Should be trouble making trucks. <gasps> Uh-oh. One of the troublesome trucks is headed right for Percy. I have to warn him. He can't hear me. But with your help, maybe he will. Okay, just follow the number one bird. as fast as I can. Sorry, I'm just so excited. 
Can I help you get done sooner? Really? That'd be great. Can you take this big bulb over to Vicar's Town Lighthouse? No problem. Thanks, Thomas. Switch on one, two, three. Great. I'll see you at the docks in a little bit. Ray, oh, and don't use the shortcut through Crumble Canyon. It's supposed to be really windy and crumbly today. Crumble Canyon. Got it. Hmm. Thanks, Thomas. I thought Percy was delivering this light bulb today. He was. I'm just helping him out so he can meet the rest of us at the docks when the telescope gets here. <gasps> That's Bulstrode. He's got the telescope. You got this, Carly? Yes, I like it. Great. I've got to get to the dock. See ya. Thomas! I can't wait to see that telescope. I know. I'll take a shortcut through Crumble Canyon. What did Percy say about Crumble Canyon again? Something about it being windy? Whoa! And crumbly? Guys, is the telescope here yet? Not yet. Bulstrode should be here any. <gasps> Thomas, what happened? What do you mean? Ah! Thomas, I told you not to cut through Crumble Canyon. So that's what you said. I knew it was something like that. You look terrible. Like, really terrible. Huh? <sighs> I just got a little dinged up. No biggie. Thomas, what on earth? You have to get to Tidmouth right now. Right now? But I want to see the new telescope. You no know, buts. You have to get repainted immediately. You don't want to rust, do you? Rust? I'm so glad you came to see me. You've got a bad case of the scrapes. Aww. Can't believe I'm going to miss Cranky unloading the new telescope. Scratches and dings do turn to rust if you don't fix them, Thomas. And you don't want rust, Thomas. Rust is the worst. I hear it's super itchy and scratchy and really uncomfortable. Oh, it is. You should be fine, Thomas. See, got you all fixed up with a fresh new coat of paint. Good as new. Great. Thanks, Sandy. Now you... It's not treasure. It's... A monster! Roar! Ah! <laughs> it's got big teeth, but it's not a monster. The paleontologist says it's a dinosaur. What's a palonapotogalist? Palonapotogalist, Diesel. <laughs> a paleontologist is a scientist who learns about dinosaurs by digging up their bones. I love dinosaurs. This is so cool. Oh, yes. And even cooler, uh, they need some engines to deliver the bones to the Vickerstown Museum for the big new dinosaur exhibit. Sounds like a job for the Biggest Adventure Club. Yeah! Hooray! Guys, guys, we have to go to the mine. Right now, there's bones. Bones? Dinosaur bones! Dinosaur bones? Wahoo! Let's go! Paleolollipopolist. <laughs> the uh, paleontologist dug them up from there and carefully arranged them for you over here. 
Now everyone pick a car, but keep them in the order they are now. Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. For the T-Rex to be put together properly, the paleontologists put these cars in this exact order. If you get out of order... Got it! Dinosaurs, let's dino-roar! Roar! <laughs> if you kids get out of order, T-Rex won't look right. Thomas? Thomas! Oh... <sighs>